just slogged up that hill. Probably heading up this trail. Friend just went down that trail. It's pretty out here. All right, so we just hiked up probably about a 40% grade. I'm sweaty. All right, so we're looking for sight right now. All right, here's a roundup from the first hunt. Um, I have all my coins here. Uh, I did a video before without everything in front of me, but I have everything in front of me now. Um, the first hunt was actually a very good hunt, so we'll start off with this is, I originally thought, you know, it could possibly be part of a meteorite or something, but um, it's definitely slag. I did some research online. Uh, meteorites aren't supposed to have, aren't supposed to be porous or have little holes on the outside, so that's pretty much garbage, but it makes me wonder what were they pouring up there on the mountains. Um, got this coin here. This is a Korean coin. It's pretty well toasted. Here's a Tang, whatever, sort of a boo thing. Um, can't really get much off of it. So it's damaged pretty bad. Um, found these guys here. I kept this one coin here. This is a Chinese coin. This is a. Uh, it's upside down. Yeah, how does he know it's upside down? I just know it's upside down. Um, this is like 1720s. Um, I gave it a bath and some hydrogen peroxide for a little bit just to clean it up. But I think if I hit it just with a brass brush lightly, because this is bronze, it's not going to scratch it, but it'll take the crud off of it. Um, these are a bunch of coin fragments. This is Chinese. That's Chinese. That's Chinese. This one here, I believe, is... Oh, that's Chinese. This is Korean right here. So, three chunks of a Chinese coin. Only two of them go together. And this guy here. Now for the better coins. Uh, my friend already put them in holders for me and got some info. So this is a Chinese coin from 1798 to 1802. It's a one cash coin. It's a G King Tong Bo. Um, it's actually in pretty good shape. That's just with a little brass Dremel action. But it's a Board of Revenue Mint, so it's not bad. Uh, the next one is a Korea Military Training Command One Moon coin from 1828. It's a Approximately 4,500 won. So much it's worth, which is like 450. Um, it's in pretty good shape. This one here, I requested that he didn't touch it, just wash it, because it came out this crisp. This is a five moon coin from 1883. It's a Tongyang Naval Office. Um, it's cracked right over here. But it's very fine, extra fine as far as its condition goes. And the backside's fairly crisp too. And then uh, this one, it's copper nickel. It's uh, That's why it looks like this. That was just a light brushing. Uh, it's Japanese during the occupation when they started out, 1885. Um, worth approximately 150 yen in its condition. It's a pretty coin. This is a five chon Korean coin from 1905. It's got a very pretty crane on there. There's the chon. There's five right there. Um, it's what's called a year nine. It's looks kind of rough, but in its condition, it's worth 3,500 won, or so 35, basically 35 bucks. Uh, there's another year five or year nine. This one. Um, it's got environmental damage. I think it looks better than this one. I think he's got them swapped out. But, um, same coin. I actually found three of these. One was a year 11. Um, my friend, he didn't have that one in his collection. And our agreement is, if you find a coin that's not in his collection, he gets to keep it. So, you got to keep one of those. 
And then this is a one Sean from 1907. It's in fair condition. It's a year 11 coin, which he already has. Um, it's a pretty coin. That one's got a griffin on it. Right here, there's the back side. So, that's all the stuff from the first hunt. So we got basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, I don't know, about two-thirds of a coin. <laughs> Plus the one, so that's ten. So that's a pretty good haul. Now I'll let you see what I got in the second hunt. It's just a little bit of what we're going through. i sneak a video. We came through Forest Primeval Lair. Went across the ridge line that way. Coming back. Pretty flowers. Left. Yeah, I, see, I got you. Okay, these might not seem like much to anybody, but there's a little mound. I'm putting a stick at it right here. Another one right here with a tree grown out of it. These are graves. You don't detect their bad juju. There's the grade. That's all downhill. That's all uphill. We're going downhill to start finally. Yay. The second hunt was done in two separate areas. Um, this was the first hunt, honestly, was uh, a little bit north of me. The second hunt was a little bit south of me. <laughs> so, but we did two separate areas in the same locality. And this is what I found in the first area uh, we found a button. I found two 10 won coins from the 1970s, a iron pin out of something, um, two 30 out six rounds, possibly Korean War. I gotta get the head stamps off of it. This weird brass cap. It's not threaded, but it went on something. But it looks like it's got some writing on there. I need to clean it up a bit and look at it. Uh, got a full sickle blade. And then this here is an animal snare, which is illegal, but I just thought I'd show you that. They uh, like to snare rabbits and other small animals. Then uh, we moved on to <clears throat> another area, which is basically around. All right, I ran out of uh, phone memory, so I had to download a bunch of stuff and delete some stuff. So here is the second hunt, same day found a big chunk of iron. This is really heavy. I have no idea what it is. Could be anything. Probably garbage. I found the tip of a sickle. And <laughs> you like this? I found a ring. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Uh, it's probably aluminum. It's too light. But it's decorative. Hey, and it's a ring found in Korea. Sweet. And for you bottle hunters out there, I found a really neat bottle. I'll put it up on end here. I have no idea what was in here. I'm pretty sure it was beer. But I don't see those anywhere. And it does have a date on the bottom of 1984. So. I thought that was pretty cool. I need to translate that and see what it says. But yeah, that's my hunts for uh, this trip, or so far. So I'll put this video together and zip it on out there. You all can watch it. But hey, you all have a great day. Good luck out there. Happy hunting, and stay safe. Bye for now.